This week's episode is brought to you by Site5, web hosting made simple. Visit jcast slash site5 today. Audible. For your free 14-day trial and free audiobook, visit jcast slash audible. And The Education Guide. Whether you're looking for the right college or need career training to land a new job, The Education Guide will connect you with a school that matches your needs. Visit jcast slash education today. Japancast.net Japancast no video episode へようこそ<笑> Go keep going. <笑>ジャパンキャストのビデオエピソードへようこそ。ひとみです。ポールです。Whether you're looking to speak Japanese to your in-laws or you've realized no hablo inglés doesn't work on telemarketers anymore because hablamos español. <笑> Japancast.net is your place to go. This is episode 50. We've changed locations. So this is going to be interesting. We're not using our.、Um, Normal microphones for this episode.、Mm-hmm. So we're just using the in camera. It might be a little noisier, especially for those of you on the audio only. We are outside in the elements, so you're probably going to hear trucks and birds and dogs and orangutans <laughs> and churches <laughs> and gift shops and things like that. So excuse、yeah. the noise, but we don't have the equipment to do external shooting. You got the computer way down here, so we're looking down like this, that's why. Yeah.、Um, what's going on?、Mm-hmm. Oh, first off, wanted to send out our thoughts and prayers to our viewer,、uh, Drazen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I pronounced it wrong the last time. Long time viewer, listener of the show, who posted out to, I think, Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus that he was diagnosed with leukemia the other day and was. Pretty upset about it. So,、uh, if you're the praying type, we would appreciate it if you'd、uh, keep him in your prayers. So, good luck,、uh, Drazen. We know you're going to pull through and do just fine. And、uh, on to business stuff. What's going on with the shop?、Mm, we put、uh, show notes.、Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. Show notes are in the Japan Cash shop. Right. New ones are.、Uh... Video. Video. Episodes. Episodes. Show notes.、Mm-hmm. Go to jcast slash shop for that.、Mm-hmm. What、and、else? Also,、uh, we put J pop and J rock、mm-hmm. program. Okay. Huh? Kids,、uh, right? Yeah. They can't hear you. Well, then you say. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't want to hear me talking. <laughs> So, you have increased your vocabulary with J pop and J rock program.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. My voice is about the same volume as yours, you know? No, I don't think so. I think so. No, I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, okay. Right. All right. So, yeah, the class begins、um, Monday, July 18th and ends Sunday, July 24th. Cool.、So、one week. So, you can pre register on、Hi. the shop. Yeah. So、if you're interested. Awesome. Okay, up next we have news.、Um, but before we go on with that, as we're being bombarded by birds,、uh, we wanted to thank you guys, our donators, our subscription donation folks.、Uh, every dollar counts, so we really appreciate that. And as always,、uh, anybody who does more than $20 a month can do a 30 minute Skype with you.、Mm-hmm. So, visit、uh, japancast.net and on the right side you can see where you can buy her a cup of coffee. Or on Facebook, go to jcast slash face and on the left side there's a button that says donate. And you can donate there. All right, up next we have the news. All right, it's time for the news.、Um, yesterday, A tsunami warning was issued. There was a, it's now been downgraded to a magnitude 7 earthquake off the coast of Sendai. Yeah, basically the, where they、uh, were f- yeah, affected last time. Last time,、yeah. exa- almost exactly the same place.、Mm-hmm. 
Um, the, thankfully, the tsunami came in at only 10 centimeters high. Really? Mm-hmm. That's they the official. They warned that, uh, oh, really? 50 centimeters? Yeah, they were worried that was the yeah. size, but it came in at only 10. Good. And there was no major damage. That's good. The uh, Fukushima uh, power plant was evacuated, mm -hmm. but there was no damage done to Here. the power plant That's good. as well. So, thankful for that as Japan. There's continues to be, I believe there was a 5.6 the other day in Tokyo as well. So these are continued aftershocks from right. the large quake and they continue to struggle with that. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be, what they say, decades cleaning up the nuclear power plant. Yeah. So that's the news uh, this week, just a little short news. Um, up next we have Culture Corner. And, but before we go into that, we just wanted to thank Site5 for hosting us and giving us our bandwidth and server and all that. So if you're looking to host a website or an e-commerce site or anything like that, check out uh, Site5. Just go to jcast slash Site5. Hi. Up next, we have the news. <laughs> I said the news, but we're actually done with the news and we're up to Culture <laughs> Corner. So. Can't read. <laughs> no, I'm confused by the daylight and the, the I nature. <laughs> I don't ever actually see outside. I live behind a computer all day. Um, we have a really interesting one this week. Mm -hmm. Our friend Michael, who's living in Japan, is going to teach us about tea harvesting and vol volunteering opportunities in Japan. So let's take a look at his video on what he's doing currently living in Japan. I am in the tea fields, the Ochabatake tea fields, and what we just finished was uh, Ichibancha just finished for us, which is the first tea harvest. Nibancha starts in about a week or two where we harvest the tea again. So, what we do for the harvest is that they take a giant hedge kind of clip hedge trimmer kind of thing with a bag and they run along all the rows of tea and then they trim off about the top three or four inches or so where it is, and then they bag it and bring it over to a tea factory where it is turned where it is steamed cleaned and then ground down into what it is we can drink this is actually one of the last remaining places that has organic tea the uh, family I'm staying with actually is uh, one of the only organic growers left that go uses no chemicals for some of their some of the tea. Much of the tea still uses it, but it's kind of dying because people more want uh, um, quantity rather than quality. I've been here for two months now, and what I do here is we work on Tambo, the rice field, and the Ochabatake. Right now it is Nibansha. Nibancha, which is the second tea harvest, Nibancha. Ichibancha was a couple weeks back, that was first harvest, and now it's Nibancha. And so then you can see all the tea fields right behind me here with rows of green tea. For Ichibancha, the uh, tea rows will be covered in a black tarp, and that causes the tea to turn a darker color. Because the market prefers a dark green tea versus a lighter tea that's sweeter. When you cover it, it turns bitter, more bitter, but it will be much greener. So it's a much greener tea versus right now for Nibancha, it tends to be a much yellower tea, but it is a sweeter tea because of that, because it has full sunlight. The volunteer trip I am working through here is through Volunteers for Peace. If you live in America, you can go to Volunteers, you can look up Volunteers for Peace via Google, and you can look into some other projects. They have work projects around Japan and any other place in the world that are volunteer trips where oftentimes all you have to pay is the uh, travel fare and then you get to stay. But, however, if you look into doing a trip here to Japan, this is not a free trip. This is a work trip. You will be working. This is not a this is not a vacation spree. You will be working here. I've been for the past week. I've been working about 14 hours a day, starting about six in the morning. You wake up and you have breakfast and you get working and then you end about eight o'clock at night, oftentimes depending on what the work is. It is really awesome. It is really fun, but it is a lot of hard work. That is not for everybody. So keep that in mind if you do look into it, because they always are looking for help out here in the countryside because slowly but surely everyone is moving to the cities so then all the tambo and the 
Ochabatake are slowly being abandoned and can, no one can take care of them anymore. So, oftentimes they're looking in to hire in some help. Oftentimes foreigners, and especially around here in Kurogi, they have a couple of different programs for that. So if you want to look into that, I'm in Kurogi Kyushu, you can actually look that up on Google Maps, you can find it. It's a beautiful place, it's got a giant river running through the middle of it, and I hope that you guys can all find your own ways to Japan and enjoying Japanese culture as well as I have. So sit. Okay, so he's there. Um, what I thought was kind of sad was the fact that these tea, these towns that were built on harvesting tea are falling apart. They're disappearing because everybody's moving away to the big city mm -hmm. and there's nobody left. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sad to think that, you know, these entire communities are just being devastated because the kids don't want to grow up and be tea farmers they want to move to the city yeah. and I'm sure that happens in a, in a lot of countries where kids don't want to be farmers they want to be city folk mm. whereas I want to get as far away from the city as possible I wonder if we could buy like a big tea farm in Japan cheaply yeah. I bet we could mm -hmm. And then we'll get Michael and his friends to volunteer and take care of it for us. That'd be great. No. I'll talk to you about that, Michael. So we appreciate that video. Thank you very much for sending that. It's Hi. really cool. Um, as he said, if you're interested in volunteering for something like this, uh, there's Volunteers for Peace. You, I put a link. It's uh, jcast slash peace. Mm. I looked and they currently have 98 projects happening in Japan. And as he said in the video, it's not a vacation. You're not going there to goof around and play with tea leaves and you know for a couple hours a day. As he said, he works 14-hour days. As more AOL messages pop up in front of my screen, <laughs> I usually shut everything off. Um, so again, Jcast slash Peace, and you can check out some volunteer opportunities in Japan. Right. Up next, we have our phrase or idiom. But I wanted to thank the Education Guide for sponsoring us. So if you're looking to go to college or a trade school, you want to change careers, go to jcast slash education. You can put in your information and they will get you information on various schools, universities, things like that in your area or online that fit what you're looking for. Up next, phrase or idiom. So we have an idiom this week? Uh, yes. Okay. Idioms. Three idioms uh, related to oheso, oheso, mm -hmm. with heso. It's, it's off oheso. the screen, it's my belly button down. Hi. So, the mm -hmm. first one, uh, heso o mageru, heso o mageru. Okay. Hai. Uh, so literally, <laughs> Literally, it means to twist your navel or to sulk. Well, actually, to sulk is oh, okay. what it means. What it means. Yeah, but literally, figured, literally yeah. it means to twist your navel. Yeah, twist your navel. Heso mageru. Okay. To sulk. So, for example, sono kodomo wa ryoshin ni omocha o katte moraenakatta no de. Which means so, the child is sulking because his parents didn't buy him a toy. Hi. So heso o mageru. Then the second one, heso kuri. Heso kuri. Literally. Okay. I don't even understand this really in English. To reckon with one's own navel. Because it's literally mm -hmm. literal translation. Which means secret savings. Mm -hmm. You save your money secretly. Ah, okay. Hi. So for example, Yamada san no oksan wa kono san nen hesokuri o shiteimasu. Mr. Yamada's wife has been secretly saving money for the last three years <laughs> because she's going to leave him for the pool boy and head to <laughs> Tijuana, Mexico. Huh? That's exactly what she said. 
that what's happening in this country? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that was uh, Hesokuri. Usually uh, in Japan, wife is in charge of money. Mm -hmm. So she does that. <laughs> People, you know. We call that em embezzling. Huh? <laughs> we call that embe embezzling. Really? Mm hmm. In English? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you guys do that? You go to jail for embezzling. What is it? What? It's when you work at a company and you're in charge oh, of the money. Oh, company. You... No, no. Yeah. It's, this is only for family. Right. It's not embezzling household. when it's in the family. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. okay. Next up. Okay. The third one. Hesomagari. A twisted navel. Right. Hesomagari. It's almost the same as the other one. Yeah. Um, what was the first one? Oh, you said yeah. it. Yeah. Hesomagari. Yeah. Hesomagari. Mm-hmm. Hisomagari is action. So uh -huh. Hisomagari is describing what person, what kind of person mm -hmm. he or she is. So Hisomagari, a twisted navel, which means someone per perverse. Perverse. Does that mean hentai? Um. Or just weird. No, weird. Okay. Right, weird. Um, so, for example, Watashi no imoto wa hisomagari da kara. So Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My little sister is so perverse or strange, mm -hmm. I can't be straightforward with her. That's my sister. Yes. So that's why you picked this. Right. <laughs> cool. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, he's so related to your belly button. Belly button. Mm -hmm. Many expressions we have. Huh. All right, uh, cool. So up next we have some vocabulary. Right. But first we wanted to remind you guys all to run to jcast slash audible and sign up for your free trial. And watch out for the chickadee bombarding us. <laughs> because you'll get a free audiobook and you can keep it forever. It's, it's a no uh, risk trial offer. You can just get right, your cancel. book and cancel it and keep the book. So I am a big fan of Audible. I have tons and tons of audiobooks from Audible. Finished listening to Dave Barry. Um, I've been listening to, I can't think right now, but I downloaded like six audiobooks the other day. Yeah. So I just love, if you like podcasts, you'll really like audiobooks because instead of a couple of goofballs sitting on lawn chairs <laughs> in their house, or next to their house doing their uh, podcast, these are like professional narrators reading professionally yeah. written books so they're really great okay up next we have uh, vocabulary or phrase so what do you have vocabulary 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 we okay. say vocabulary okay so uh shimatta mm -hmm. have you ever heard this shimatta yes. mm -hmm. Hi. which means <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Well, this is a. We're rated below PG and okay, iTunes. Okay, then so, you, you don't so have to say. Darn it, or yeah, darn, darn, or it. oops, or oh dear, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We use this all the time in Japan. Uh, for example, you can say, Shimatta, nebo shichatta. Which means? Oh no, I overslept. Nebo right. shichatta means I overslept. Okay. It comes from nebo suru to over sleep. Cool. Or, shimatta, wasuremono shichatta. Oops, I forgot something. Wasuremono right. suru to forget something. Mm -hmm. And then the third one, shimatta, osaifu naku shichatta. Oh crap, I lost my wallet. Right. So, nakusu to lose something. And saifu. Oh, Sai Fu Boy. So, Shimata, Nebo Shatta. Shimata, Wasremono Shatta. Shimata, O Sai Fu Naku Shatta. All ends with Chatta. Sai Fu goes in Kaban? Yeah. But it could be also men's wallet. Yeah. Sai Fu, yeah. Cool. Um, don't have any sponsor to. Thank for this segment, so we're gonna go right straight to JapanCast Mailbag. Okay, it's time for JapanCast Mailbag. 
this week we got a letter from, I want to say Dane. Does that look like Dane to you? D-A-E-N? I wanted to say I Dean, know. but... I don't know English. I, I, if it was E-A, it would be Dean, mm -hmm. but I think that's Dane. So, one or the other. He says, um, first of all, I have to congratulate you both on a great podcast. That's right, you have to congratulate us. No. The rest of <laughs> you. Thank you. Um, I'm Australian and can speak basic Japanese and I'm wanting to start to uh, teaching my uh, Japanese to my one-year-old daughter. We have some flashcards, etc., but I'm wondering if you can point me in the right direction on some good DVDs that have hiragana subtitles. Any information would be greatly appreciated. That's Dane from Bondi, Sydney, Australia. Um, excuse the car. First, I'd say head to, to uh, Kinokuniya. There's one located in Sydney. It's at it's uh, level two at the Galleries Victoria, 500 George Street. I'm assuming everybody in Sydney knows where that is. And um, most likely, they're going to have loads of children's yeah. videos there. That's a Japanese book I love store. Kinokuniya bookstore. They have one in New York and we've awesome. gone there. So they definitely will have Japanese children's videos there, which are great. Yeah, I wanted to buy everything. <laughs> when I was in uh, New York a long time ago, I actually picked up some VHS tapes of, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. at Book Off. Mm. They, these, they were used. I, I like Book Off more than Kinokuniya only because Book Off is used, so it's cheaper. Cheaper. Because so, I'm a cheapskate. Yes. <laughs> so if you can go there and get that, that that's a great place to start. And you have to keep in mind also that Kids Language Center hasn't really formed until they've been about, uh, gotten to about four years old. So as long as you're using the Japanese word for things, the kids will associate those things, and so our youngest learned donguri, donguri. from Totoro. Totoro, yeah. Donguri! And that's what she'd call acorns. Yeah. She would say donguri. Yeah, she doesn't say acorn anymore. She says donguri. Certain words she says in Japan. Just comes naturally. Yeah. So donguri. that's something to keep in mind. You just don't call it whatever it is in English or try to alternate as much as you can. Mm -hmm. So it's either or. You know, like you can call it a hat or you can call it a cap. And I, it's the same thing to me. You could do the same thing with languages. Kids don't know that you're speaking a different language. They just know that's what it's called. Yeah. So, uh, one anime that came out recently that I would say would be great for little, little kids is You Are Umaso or <laughs> Omae Umaso Dana. They're very short, really cute oh, I love it. animations. I love it. They're based on a children's book. Um, you can actually check out the website. We, I put a link. It's jcast slash umaso. Umaso. That's U-M-A-S-O-U -S for those of you on the audio yeah. feed. So it comes from umai mm -hmm. to taste good. Mm -hmm. Like oishi, same thing. Umai, oishi. Uh, umaso, so means looks like or seems like. Seems, looks delicious. Yeah, so you look delicious. Umaso. Omae, umaso da na. <laughs> and what the story is, is there is a, so a baby dinosaur who had just hatched out of its egg and it couldn't find its mom and this big dinosaur comes along and was going to eat him and he said oh my, you look delicious and the baby thought oh my name is Umaso so that's where the story starts off it's very cute very very cute so good and it's short too so it doesn't yeah, require a lot of attention I think there may be a minute, maybe two minutes long. Yeah, it's great. So good for little kids. And I think that brings us to the end of our first ever outdoor adventure episode. Hi. As the <laughs> chickadee sings us a song. Yeah, actually, I have one announcement I forgot. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm available for uh, touring, like private lessons. Oh, okay, again. I, I was, yeah, I was pretty. Um, Booked. Booked, yes. But uh, I think I can take two more students. Cool. Hi, so if you're interested, please send me an email. Okay. Hi. They can con or contact you through Facebook too. Yeah, yeah, Facebook too. Awesome. Well, that's it for this outside adventure. Mm -hmm. 
We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully those of you on audio aren't too annoyed by our camera only microphone. And if it is awful, we won't do this again, but uh, it was fun to get out of the office for once. <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>